Okay, I'm going to do a short video here uh, talking about the two different types of casting sand that seems to be the most popular when casting jewelry. And so what I did, and I want to give you a, an idea of the differences here, uh, this is done with the delt clay. And what I did is I took just a, a basic paw pattern that's in bronze, and then because it's the delft clay, I had to add the vents. And so this looks like this. And so for the same pattern using the Petrobond, it looks like this. And so this, of course, it doesn't need to have venting. And the reason that is, is that the delft clay is made with a very fine sand and so it compacts together really tight and so when when the hot metal is poured uh, it needs to have a way for the gases and the oxygen uh, to release as the metal is being poured but with the Petrobond it's it's a it's a not as fine a grain of sand and so the air and the gases is able to escape actually through the sand. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these together. Let's see that. Here's that one. And then here is the the delft side. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is cast these using about an ounce and a half of sterling silver each. So the first one we'll do is the delft. Okay, that's in place. So what I have is I took these little crucibles I have and I put about an ounce and a half of sterling silver uh, it's old sterling silver. It's been cast several times. So you definitely want to have good ventilation, uh, eye protection. Really not good to breathe this in. I've added a little uh, borax to the metal. And so now we're going to pour that one. And we'll get some more silver. I'm just going to take this out of here. And we'll jump into this one. These little flasks seem to heat the metal up really fast. 
pleased with that. Okay. There's number two. Turn that all off. Okay, let's see here. We have... Find a tweezer here. Okay, so... This one here is using the Delft clay. And you can kind of see where the little vents kind of fill up with a little bit of metal sometimes. Okay. And so on this side... On this side we have the Petrobond. And so two very similar castings. Not a huge difference between the two. Kind of interesting how the metal float off the same on, on each one. And so I think that's about it. Hopefully that answers a lot of questions for you. And uh, I'll turn this off.